Hello, welcome back to Draconia. This is just something fun that I wanted to do. I wanted to play with the customization and I wanted to see just how crazy I could get. So um, yeah, just gonna be a fun little video of playing with colors and trying to see what kind of wild combinations I can get because there's only two patterns for the European dragon right now. But of course you have every color under the sun in different saturations and whatnot, so this video is just going to be playing with colors. If you guys don't care, that's perfectly fine. I also know this video is kind of long, so I'll probably link my fav timestamp my favorites down below if you guys just want to skip to each different skin and get, you know, if you don't care about how it's made and just want to see it in action or whatever, I'll probably timestamp each one. I don't know how many there's going to be. I'm basically going to go until I'm bored or go until I uh, run out of ideas, or go until I uh, the video gets too long. So yeah, I don't expect a lot of people to watch this all the way through, which is why I'm going to include the timestamps. And you can always tell me which one is your favorite below. But anyways, we're getting started on this, I don't even know what this is, tropical? It's kind of tropical-y. But yeah, we're gonna have some fun. I just, I, I always do very subdued, subtle skins, and this time around, this time around I wanted to do something crazy. Ooh, the dark blue look, the blue looks interesting. Or purple. Ooh, all the colors are so good. Hmm. Purple. Which one do I like the best? Which one do I want to do? Try lighter purple, more pastel colors. Purple looks interesting. Change that more orangey. No, that's that's really red. Or what? Maybe I'll go back to the green. Let's go back to green. Okay, let's 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 stick with green. Very bright, very br uh, vibrant. Let's see. This layer needs to be green, and we gotta make it match the other green. That looks fairly close enough. Uh, we'll make this one the red. Ooh, that's like almost pink. We need kind of a ready orange. And this one will be the orangey color. It's, that's still really pink. There, that, that, that actually looks a lot better. Yeah, that's pretty dang vibrant compared to my usual skins. Let's see, and you know the blue is a nice contrast there. Yeah, I know this is probably not that entertaining for people, but like I said, that's why I put in the timestamps. So you can skip through all the making of and just see them in action. But some people might actually want to see the customization process, and that's what this video is going to be all about. Let's see, we gotta do the eye spots. Mm, I think we can make that blue to match the blue on the tail, maybe? Yeah. Red claws, why not? Let's make these claws red too. Oh, now I just looks like he's got painted nails. Ooh, too bright. Uh, it's all so bright. Why does it look good on the wing claws, but not on the feet claws? That's weird. Okay. I think that's looking pretty good. Now, let's see. You're making such a vibrant dragon. What mouth color? Black, maybe, to offset the brightness of everything? It would help if I actually clicked accept. Alright, we'll make it a black. Yeah, now look, he's, it offsets it very nice. Really white teeth. White, white teeth. Now eyes, I'm just gonna make them blue. Why not? Alright, what kind of accessories do we want? I guess these aren't really accessories. Accessories is the next tab. Ooh, those horns look good on it. Let's have the cheek horns. Ears? Should we? No ears. Yeah, let's have a nose horn. Mm, we'll go with that one. Alright, now we're on accessories. 
Oh, I haven't used the mass. Let's use the mass. Yeah. Doesn't that look fearsome? All right. Uh, we'll give them the body spikes. Make them red, no, red or black. Mm, I think black. I think black, actually. Tail. Nah. All right. I think this one's done. Why should we name him? He's very... Let's name him Sizzle. We have a new Sizzle now. All right. Let's give him a try. Oh. He's pretty dang bright. My goal has been achieved. I think he's pretty. I like him. The new Sizzle is better. He also doesn't look like a Pokemon now and won't be called Charmander or Charizard or whatever you guys were calling my old Sizzle. Yeah, I think this is nice. Look how pretty. He can get pretty dang bright. Oh, he's so gorgeous. He fits the green so well in the in the forest. Sorry, I have to look down in order to move down, look up to move up kind of thing. Pretty cool. I like him. He's a keeper for sure. Click. Gotta get some screenshots. And also, this is a nice way to look at them without the camera spinning around in circles as I try to look at my dragon. And he tries to turn to face whatever direction I'm facing. I like the little blue on the tail. Also, the little glimpse of blue from his eye spots are pretty cool. Yeah, I think, I think overall I'm pretty happy with this one. Very good, successful first try at making a bright, flamboyant skin. Okay, what should we do for our next one? Let's use the other pattern this time. And, uh... Hmm, let's just experiment. I'm going into these without any pre-made concept of how it should look. I am just throwing colors on and see where it gets me. Maybe maybe we try purple again this time? Kind of liked the purple one we got last time. Like purple and red? Purple, gold? I'm not, I'm not sure I really like how that looks. Maybe we'll try, hmm. The blue looks nice. And... What color should we do for the belly? White? Or, ooh, let's do black. Let's change this color. Do I like black on that, or... What if we do a reverse counter shading? Where he's dark on bottom and light on top. What do you, ooh, white kind of looked cool. Kind of like the white on top. Yeah, I think, I think white is the one I like the best. Yeah, we're going to do white. All right, let's see. Black wings, maybe? Ooh, no, that's too much blue. Oh, but that doesn't match on top. That's gonna bother me. I need to make it match on top, because that's what I see most often. I'm gonna make just, just this pure white. Or black, I mean. I like how it looks on bottom, but not on top. And since I'm going to be seeing the top the most, I need to make that match. Uh, it's getting hard to get these to match up. Alright, um, what if we do the other pattern wings? I don't know if this is actually going to work or not, but we can see. Hmm. 
Nah. We'll go back to the matching patterned wings. Alright, we're going to make those white instead. Make this blue. Still doesn't really match, but make this white and it might match better. Ooh. Okay, that matches better. Alright, let's make this black again, like before. There. It looks pretty nifty. Definitely unique. What horns should he have? Let's give him these ones. Let's make this white. Then we got the black tips on them. Tail. Nah, no tail. Alright, that's he's just gonna have some horns. Head. Yeah, let's give him the gem. Why not? We haven't used this one yet. It's probably gonna look terrible, but we're gonna do it anyways. Let's make it blue to match. as well. Nah, black. Alright. Um, anything else? Body spikes? Nah. Let's name him something. Hmm, what should we name him? Glacier? How about Chasm? That sounds good. Ooh, he's pretty bright with the white wings and the white back. But then you have that hint of black, which is pretty cool. I like the contrast. We're gonna go above the clouds with this one. He seems like he fits in the cloudy environment. I'm using that sun right there to keep myself oriented. Oh, it's a big cloud. Oh, we're finally out of it. Okay. Yeah, he looks pretty nice above the clouds, doesn't he? But that blue is so much more vibrant than I thought it would be. Which is not a bad thing, because this is all about making... Look at those beautiful wings. I love the little bit of black at the edge. Yeah, it's okay for it to be vibrant. That's the whole goal of this video, is to make myself do thing, do skins I wouldn't normally do. Oh yeah, he's a pretty boy. Let's take a picture. Click. A black is an interesting offset. Oh no, I forgot to color his those. They're gold. I forgot that layer. He's got hidden secret golden scales. Whoops. I uh, forgot to color that layer. That's default layer. Oh well. These things happen. Oh, I love the backs of his wings. They're so pretty. Dive, dive, dive. Just kidding. Ooh, big cloud. Let's fly away from the big cloud. I don't want to get swallowed up. Oh no, it's catching up to me. Oh, I've been I've been caught. Now I gotta find my way out of here again. Fly to the sun. There we go. Okay, we're free again. I don't really like the gem on his head, I think. Yeah, I don't really like it. I regret putting that there. But this video is about experimenting, and we experimented. Oh, he's so pretty. Let's take a picture, and oh no, the clouds. The stinking clouds have ruined my picture. Oh well, that's fine. Let's move on to the next dragon. Let's see, what should we do for this one? Should we try to make a pur the purple? Let's make that purple. I really liked the purple combo we got in the f on the first one before we switched him back to green. So we're gonna make this one really warm colors. It's a little too warm. Uh, I gotta 
find that perfect shade. That's a little too red. Maybe, maybe that one. Maybe, maybe this will look better. If we have a little bit of black and then we do the purple and then we do the red. Maybe, maybe this will look better. All right, red's a little dark, but what about orange? Ooh, yeah, that looks, that's looking decent. What if we make it a little vibrant? Let's up its, uh, let's up that a bit. Let's make this red. gonna make this one blue because I like the contrast it gives just like with the green one and we're gonna make that yellow right, let's let's like this just a little bit I'll make it brighter I'll make her very fancy ooh I like that yeah let's let's up this one a little as well shade of purple, though I can't seem to get... Oh, maybe we need to bring it down a little. Seem to have gotten rid of the purple shade I liked by bringing it up. Alright, we got that one. This very saturated dragon. Yes. Look at that glowing throat and belly. Fancy. Okay, I'm going to put this to... I don't really like the white. I really do like it... We'll keep it yellow. I like it blue, but we did blue on the green one. What color? Let's make the mouth yellow, too. Like it's glowing. The mouth is glowing. Alright. Let's do the wings. Alright, I like the back to match. So this needs to be black. This needs to be purple. We need to get the right shade of purple, so this is going to be a little... It needs to be a little bit more of a blue-purple. Okay, that looks good. And like the green one, this needs to be orange. Really, this is all very similar to the green one, just purple and pink instead of green and orange. Sorry, I'm contemplating my uh, contemplating my uh, my design here. It's like a Lisa Frank dragon. Are any of you old enough to remember Lisa Frank? Man, I I ha Lisa Frank was all the rage when I was in school. Everyone had a Lisa Frank folder or trapper keeper or that all that kind of stuff. There, it looks like a a sunburst, doesn't it? Like sunset. It's like a sunset dragon. I don't even know why I bother doing eye colors. It's not like they make much of a difference. You can't really see their eye. All right. What kind of horns should this one have? Give it jaw spikes. Body spikes. Maybe we'll go without horns. Let, mm, let's name it Sunset. I mean, that is what it is. I'm trying to see what she looks like in the lava. I don't know how I decide which ones are male and which ones are female. I just do in my head, okay? When I'm making a design, it just comes off to me as, Oh, this is a male. Or, oh, this is a female. The new lighting makes the lava not quite as bright on your dragon anymore. spots are very 
vivid. She's such a bright dragon. In a different way than the green one was. A different way than Sizzle. Whoosh. Fly. I'm trying to wait for the sun to come up a little bit. Look at those pretty wings. I wouldn't class them as my favorite wings. I like the blue one from Chasm and Sizzle's wings. But I like this one's body more. And the underside of the wings on this one are beautiful. So like the tops of the wings, I wouldn't rank them as my favorite of the three I've done so far, but the bottoms of the wings, I would rank those pretty high. And look at the beauty, co beautiful colors there. Click. Sunset. Yeah, see, she looks lovely. I didn't give her any horns, just the body spikes. Yeah, I don't think I would rank this one as one of my favorites, but it's pretty, it's still pretty. It's interesting to see what you can do with all the color options, considering there's only two dragon patterns to play with right now. But I mean, even with just two color patterns, look at all the different designs I've been able to do so far. And like I said, that's the whole goal of this video. Just playing with colors, seeing just how crazy we can get. Kudos to any of you still watching. You're about, you're, you're a uh, patient. I don't know how interesting this is, but I wanted to do it and I felt like recording it. So here we are, flappity flapping around with our col colorful dragons, doing dragon dress up. Maybe that'll be the title, dragon dress up. Okay, I actually forgot to record I was, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I ended up making this thing and I gave, I gave it uh, the funny antenna looking head accessory. And I was experimenting with making more layers one color to see how that affected the pattern. So like this one has quite a few layers that are just pure black because I wanted to see, I wanted to see how it would affect its look. I also gave this one ears. I don't use ears very often. I don't think I like the tail accessory. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. But yeah, I was experimenting with turning multiple layers black and seeing how that affected the overall skin. So let's see how it goes. Oh, I think this is one of my favorites. This thing looks very unique and I named her Wasp because she reminds me of a hornet or a wasp or you know, one of those. Yeah, I definitely think this is one of my favorites that I've done so far. She's very pretty. Very striking. This is another she, by the way. I like the little antenna. I kind of wish there were more over her eyes and less over her nose, but, you know, that's okay. She has little antenna. She's the queen of the bees. She's the hive mind queen. Yeah, I think she's pretty. Lots of black on her. I, I made a lot of layers black, but you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of an interesting effect it gives her, doesn't it? Definitely makes her feel very different from Chasm, my blue and white one, because he uses the same pattern, but still making everything dark like this is a very different looking dragon. So I think that's pretty cool. See how she, she, I don't know, this one felt like she belonged in the pine trees. So we're taking her around the pine trees. Screenshot time, only on the ground this time. Yeah, I wanted to just really look at her. Look at all the, I like it. I don't know, I think this is one of my favorites. Definitely a keeper. I really like this one. I do wish the antenna were over her eyes though. But yeah, very pretty, very cool. I like this one. Probably will have to use this one next time I play with Velocci just because this is one that I feel like I'm gonna wanna play as. Just admiring it. Oh, that's a good angle. But anyways, yeah. 
forgot to record making it, but that's okay. I'm sorry. I slipped. I, I thought I pressed record. I really did. I thought I did it, but I did not. Look at that smiling face with his little antenna. So cute. She's not cute. She's venomous. She's got stingers. She's a bee. No, she's a wasp. Now, what one should we make this time? How crazy can I be now? What if we try to make an ice dragon? What do you think? Make a ice dragon? So we're gonna go really bright. Let's make an ice dragon. A snow dragon, a white dragon, whatever you wanna call it. I wish I had an option to give it like furry feet. Kinda like a Clydesdale dragon. Because, you know, ice, snow, give it furry feet. Maybe they'll, I'm, I'm hoping there'll be more options. Let's give it a blue mouth. You know, as the game develops, I'm sure there will be more and more options for us to go with. Currently, I'm just making do with what we have. It's still quite a few options. All right, uh, that's a little too blue. We need to lighten it a little. There we go. That looks about right. Okay. Now we're going to, un unlike Wasp, where we made most of the layers black, we're going to make most of the layers white, or like a reverse Wasp. He's going to be super duper, extremely bright. Right, let's make his tongue blue before I forget so that it matches. Which layer is his throat spikes? Oh, it's this one. Okay. I don't want any dark colors on him. There we go. What if I... What is this yellow layer? I don't know, but we're going to turn it white anyways. Whatever it is, it's going to be white. Now, what horns should our ice dragon have? Let's just give him these ones and make them... No, not white. Let's make them blue so they match his head. Ooh, let's make them glow a bit. Well, now that they're glowing, I kind of feel like the rest of him needs to as well. So let's just make all... Let's make him a... He's going to be so bright. He's going to be the brightest dragon. I like... I like... I like snow dragons. Ice dragons. They're probably one of my favorites. All right. We're going to just make all the layers bright. Because we can. Oh, he's so glowy. We need a, you can see the difference between him and the wings. All right, we need to make the wings glow. Oop, go back. Okay, we're going to make the wings glow too. Otherwise, he's just going to look weird. All right, now we got to get the right shade. Uh, about that right there. I think that looks good. Okay. Now these are just going to be pure white. Oh, he is going to be the brightest dragon you've ever seen. Let me make that white. Yeah. Oh, he's so fancy looking. Oh, we need to do the underside of the wings, too. I can't make a metallic looking dragon, so I'm going to make it a glowy dragon. Yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. All right. Hmm. I think that looks good. No, he doesn't he doesn't need spikes. A Santa hat? Nah. He's too silly for me. Let's name him after one of my white dragon characters, Bazarthian. 
Oh, he really is bright. I took him above the clouds before recording. He's pretty blue. I didn't mean for him to be quite this blue. I meant for him to be more white, less blue. But what can you do? Well, I mean, we could go back and fix it, but that's okay. We'll leave him as is. He's the blue of thick glacier ice. You know, that kind of iceberg blue color. Yeah, totally. That's that. I was totally going for that. He's pretty bright. Oh no, the clouds. He's whiter than the clouds. He's brilliant. I like the sun reflecting through his wings because they're so white. It's pretty. Ice, ice dragon. Yeah, I think if I remade him or tweaked him, I'd probably make his light blues a little bit more white. But it still gets the point across that this is a white ice dragon. It's pretty dang bright, though. I don't know if this was a successful experiment or not, but I wanted to see what it would look like. All right, from here, I'm just gonna show a picture and then the flying because I'm starting to get this video really long. So this is Solar Flare. He's not that fancy. I don't know if I really like this one, but you know, sometimes an experiment pans out, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure if this one worked out very well. I do like his antlers though. But yeah, so for the rest of the video, I'm going to show a clip of the a screenshot and then a short flying clip rather than the full on customization because, like I said, the video is getting a little long, but I did make other ones and I want to show them all. So the rest of them are going to just be shown quickly because while I was putting all these clips together, I realized that, oh, this video is getting really long. No one's going to watch this all the way through. So the final ones are going to just be quick clips. All right, and this one's Monarch. I tried to do a Monarch butterfly. I don't think it worked out that well. He's kind of tigery instead of monarchy. It'd be better if he had butterfly wings. Oh, wouldn't that be cool if you could get a, if there was a butterfly dragon or a butterfly wing pattern? Ooh, uh, developer, please, butterfly wing pattern. Let's do it. Let me make Monarch the way he is supposed to be. But yeah, all right, so that's Monarch. I like this one. This is dragon fruit based off the dragon fruit. So this is dragon fruit, the dragon fruit dragon. Ha ha. If you don't know what a dragon fruit is, you can look it up. I tried to put an image in on over the screen, but for some reason it wouldn't layer it on top. So ideally it should have uh, black spots on the wings instead of pink spots on the wings. But, you know, I couldn't do that without messing up the rest of the color. So yeah, this is dragon fruit, the dragon fruit colored dragon. I like it. It's very pink, pinker than I ex I like, but I think it's a fair representation of the fruit I was going for. I've tried a drag of fruit. It is not good. At least to me, they do not taste good, but it makes a nice dragon. This is Dapple. Dapple is a black and white Dapple dragon. I tried some different black and white combos and this was the one I liked best. I liked his zebra striped tail and his kind of, uh, his wings are pretty. Yeah, just experimenting with turning some layers black, some layers white. I should have made the wings whiter. You see how the wings are kind of off-white? I should have made them whiter. Yeah, this is Dapple. It's very spotty. I like the backs of his wings, though. Isn't that pretty? I like it. But, uh, yeah, so this is just a video of showcasing the customization, what you can do with the customization, even with just a limited amount of patterns. You know, two body patterns, two wing patterns. But look at all the varieties I've managed to do. I hope those of you that watched it enjoyed it.